Hello, my name is Ben Beckwith and this is my Fly of the Month. Hopefully it will help you catch a few more fish in the coming weeks. So my Fly of the Month for September is a little pink shrimp, which I think is a brilliant little pattern for grayling. Um, materials I'll be using are hot pink uh, ice stubbing. I've got some clear nymph skin, lead wire and red wire. So I put the hook in the vise, it's just a size 14 grub hook, you can go up to 10s, down to 18s uh, and a small 3mm pink bead. So to add a little bit of extra weight, I've got some sticky back lead, I'm just going to wrap up and touching turns towards the bead, break it off. As well as adding weight, the lead also aids the shape of the shrimp to make it look more natural. So now I've done one layer, I'm going to do an upper turn and do another layer. And this just helps the profile of the shrimp. Push it down, angle that bead and have it how you like it. The thread I'm using is just again the white GSP. Uh, so what we're going to do is just gentle wraps over the lead just to cover it up and make sure it doesn't pop out like so. Push it up so it's nice and tight to the bead. Lovely. Right, it's come down right down to near the bottom. It's going to tie in our red wire. So with the red wire, you put it back in to that bead and gently wrap around to secure it. If you just come up all the way up and round, just keep it on top of the hook shank. Again, it will add to that this thin yet higher profile of the, of the shrimp. For your natural clear nymph skin, I've just chopped it. I might do a little bit thinner. You just cut it to the shape you want to have it, uh, depending on the size of the fly, and you get plenty of flies out of each sheet. So once you've got the right width for your fly and the size of your fly, what you're going to do is make a small point using your scissors, as you can see here, and this will just be a nice point to tie the nymph skin into by. Put it tight so it comes nice and small. And again, just, just check it to make sure it's going to sit right and go over the body nicely. So. I'm happy with that. You can see that's going to sit nicely. So if your eye stub, just hot, hot pink. Let's get a bit out. You want to start, you don't want to go too bulky to begin with. You want to build up a taper. Add the max sort of in the middle and then again taper it down again as you get towards the bead. Start with that, just going to wrap it in touching turns up the hook. So you can see you want to create a small bulge in the middle here, as you would find on a normal shrimp. And then taper it down towards the bead. The good thing about this GSP is it's strong, so you can pull it inside the bead to keep it nice and tight. And bring your nymph skin over the top, nice and tight. Just tie it in with a few turns and snip. When you snip it, just pull it tight. And it should go down into the thread and keep it out of the way. Then with your wire, I like to do one turn around the bare hook just to secure. Put all these uh, the fibers out of the way. And then he's going to wrap in fairly open turns like so, just to hold down that nymph skin and one just before you turn off like there. Then if you want you can add a tiny bit of dubbing just to cover up your thread behind the bead there. Oh, you want a tiny little bit. Then Whip finish 
And if you use this GSP, you can pull the thread right in behind the bead. So the knot won't give push. And there's a little grailing, pink shrimp for your grailing. Best way to fish this, you can either fish it on a duo, French or Czech nymphing. Let it go through and the grading will eat it up. Happy fishing and tight lines. Thank you.